you probably pass by these things all the time and you say what the heck or you don't even think about it what is it it's just a bunch of telephone poles and some plywood maybe a couple old lights on it but when you drive by and you don't know any better you think that this object here along this road is nothing more than just a an ugly item just a, a not necessary bit of visual pollution what it is it's an abandoned wooden billboard built in a different time maybe maybe built in the 1930s or the 40s or the 50s or the 60s or the 70s or even in the 80s and 90s they still build these things but it's just sitting here no advertiser no nameplate no markings of any type no phone numbers so when I see these things, what I think these are, are a great way to make money. Basically, all you have to do is track down the owner of this sign, if you can, and the landowner who owns the land that this sign sits on, and basically try and bring this thing back into service. See if you can buy this old abandoned sign for a dollar, maybe a thousand dollars. Maybe the landowner owns the sign and he'll give it to you for free. Once you get possession of the sign, all you have to do is measure the size of it, which tells you how big a vinyl you can install. You go out and rent the ad space and you're in business. Now what's this sign rent for? I don't know. I'm going to guess this sign probably rents for maybe $300 to $400 a month is what it would go for. There's a town just up the highway here about another, oh, another couple miles. So you could probably get a restaurant or a bed and breakfast or a shop. Something to go on that sign. There's a McDonald's up there. There, there, there's different advertisers who would want it. So basically, look at the economics on this. Let's say you get that sign for $1,000. You rent it for $400 a month. It's just a one-sided sign, so your total revenue would be $400. And then you, let's say you pay the landowner 20% of that, let's say $80 a month. So he gets basically $1,000 a year, and you get roughly $4,800 a year, minus $1,000, $3,800, minus the cost of installing the vinyl and any other taxes and repairs and issues let's say that all comes out to 800 you get about three thousand dollars a year off just this thing sitting here along the highway that's a pretty good deal so when you're out there looking at signs looking for new locations for signs just driving down recreationally when you see something like this sitting alongside a road you need to stop and ponder is there an opportunity there because if there is, that's a heck of a great way, a great investment on your time and money to get that job done. This is Frank Roth from OutdoorBillboard.com.